I'm here to live. This is my seminar. Devil in a red dress. Call 911. I'm a killer. You know I hate to confess. Bang bang, I'm a hand on a trigger. The devil in a red dress. Call 911. I'm a killer. You know I hate to confess. Bang bang, I'm a hand. Bang I'm a hand. Bang I'm a hand. Quite a lot of new faces, but yeah, man, we'll uh, we'll do we'll do half the session. We'll we'll focus on striking, and then uh, we'll we'll work on some grappling stuff. But um, okay, for now, just find a space. You can go back in the cage if you want, but find a space. I just want everyone to get in their stance. I just want to see everyone's stance. In fact. Go in twos, but same thing, everyone in their stance, facing each other. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, what one man? Sorry, mm -hmm. thank you, go with that. Go with that, right? Oh, just go with that. Okay, so guys, guys, looking around. So, yeah, Reese. You want me to do it somewhere, don't you? That's yeah, alright, just where you are. Right. Yeah. So, if I'm fighting Reese, now, a big thing is I should never see his back leg there, yeah, because that's, that's way too narrow, his stance is too narrow, which is, I can't, which is good, but a lot of you, you, you're standing very side on, and obviously, we want to do MMA, so we need a balance, we need to be able to deal with the boxing, but we also need to be able to deal with kicks. If I'm standing side on, I'm going to get kicked in the leg, you know, I can't move very well, I haven't got balance, so, I want everyone to get a little bit more width in their stance. So my, my, my feet are shoulder width apart and then I'm just dropping the back leg back, yeah. dropping the back leg back a little, okay? And I also want my weight on my back leg. So I'm seeing a lot of you here, okay, like on the lead leg. Now if I'm fighting Reese and he, he throws at me, it's, it's gonna, it's hard for me to move. If my weight's on the back leg, I can move, I can reply. If I move, I can, I can, I can count that. So I need, Everyone to get, get in your stance. Yeah. Taking your partner. And if you want that, just see your back leg. Yeah, if your partner can see your back leg. Here. Or even your heel. You're too narrow. So we need width in our stance. Okay. And I want everyone to back straight. So imagine you being pulled up on the head. And then, boom, you just relax in your neck. That's how we should be standing. We don't need to be punched over. Our bodies don't work correctly like this. Yeah, we, we need our back straight, we can rotate then, we've got power, we've got balance. So, a bit more width in the stance. Let's get the back heel off the floor. Yeah, what we're going to do from here, you're going to take it in terms of your partner, do 20 seconds, you can switch, 20 seconds, you can switch. Reese, you're going to move around a little bit. I'm just going to maintain my distance, and I'm going to keep that width in my stance. I'm not going to be crossing my feet, I'm not going to be bringing them too narrow, and he's going to let me know. So I'm going to keep that width. If he's circling like he was there, we're keeping width in the stance, so I can throw if I need to throw. Yeah, if he moves forward, I'm maintaining the range. If he moves back, I'm not giving him space. I'm going to, I'm going to control that range constantly. So I don't want his punching. I don't mind if you want to touch with the lead hand, but just work on the footwork. So Reese will move for 20 seconds. He's not going to make it too difficult. We're just going to work on the feet, work on the width, and then I'll do the same. I'll be moving. He'll be maintaining distance. As we're circling, yeah? Just keeping that width, keeping that back heel off the floor and keeping your weight on the back leg, okay? We're not coming out of shape. Yeah? Let's go. So, we need to turn your back leg towards a little bit more. Your back foot, if you're turning out, you've got it on. Now your leg is loaded, you've got some power there. Now you can maintain that, keep moving everywhere you go. So you, you, your feet are moving better now, but 
Now I want us to make everything smaller. So rather than me doing big circles and then re-squaring up, I want he's gonna he's gonna control the range now. So we're we're not talking just this big bit of space, we're talking the distance where he can hit me and the distance he can't hit me. So we're not gonna be so far out, we're not doing big steps. So if, if Reese moves forward, I'm moving back. But I know I can I can land here. If he moves back, I'm keeping that. If he circles, I'm, I'm circling. Well, I'm not out here. This is easy. This is a, like, we don't need to train this, you know. If you get in a cage and you want to just, anyone can do that, you're not fighting. It's at, when you're in range and you're fighting where it's difficult. So this is where we need to work. So if he's moving, I'm maintaining my safety. I'm maintaining my safety if he moves back. I'm maintaining, we're not, we're not letting him out. Yeah, we're not giving too much space. Obviously you don't fight a whole fight like that, but we're, we're, we're working on this, yeah? So we'll keep closer, and just control that distance. Stay close to each other. What we're going to do now, I just want to see us control the range, so same thing, but we're going to use the lead hand now, so that's my longest weapon, obviously I've got my kicks as well, but if I, if I kick, I'm out of shape, until I bring the foot back, so with my lead hand, I can control without coming out of shape, I can still count in here, I can still throw off that, I can still throw a jab off that, so it's not a jab, yeah, I'm not, I'm not aiming to land the shot, I'm aiming to control him with the shot, so for me to throw a jab, I want to be in range, solid jab but I'm not going to stand in range so I have to work my way into range so that's going to be from here I'll be controlling controlling boom then we land that shot yeah it's the same with a, with, with a punch a kick I'm going to control the range control the range boom then throw my shot I might fake before I throw but I just want to see that control yeah so I don't I, I don't mind if you throw a shot off it but all I want to see even if it's hanging just up so we've all got gum shields in yeah yeah. So challenge up and I'm just gonna control the range, control the range. When I'm ready, I'll throw a shot. Your partner can defend the shot, one shot. So you'll see the shot coming. Work with each other, yeah. Don't be trying to bang each other in the face. Yeah. Just work with each other. So I'm gonna control, 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 kick, boom. That's my shot. And he's gonna go. And what I just did there is what I don't want to see. So I don't want to see you throw and then jump out of range. I want to see us maintain that. So we're controlling, we're controlling. Oh my god, my shot, I'm still controlling. I'm ready to go again, then he's gonna go. He's gonna control, control, throw his shot, boom. And he's gonna control, he's not gonna, yeah. yeah? So that's what I want us to work on. Yeah, let's go. But now what I want to start seeing is I throw my shot, boom, I control. If I, if I throw my shot, 
Uh, switch off, I wanted to let me know what's there. Like I say, work with each other, don't blame each other in the face, just let your partner know. But I still want sharp work, so I don't want us to draw like this. It's like, it's not realistic, yeah? Like, I need to be sharp. It's a lot of us, a lot of us fight over so in the area, so we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta be working sharp. Now I'm gonna control sharp, even though I'm not hitting him, I'm controlling sharp. Oh, quick hit, I'm controlling. Yeah, when Reese goes on me. Oh, and he's handy, right? So we're letting him know, make him sure. Yeah, so work with each other, same thing. Yeah, and go, and go. I'm not hitting him, yeah. So I was not worried about Now I'm touching him. Okay, so with your partner, go one for one. We're gonna just go jab, okay? But I wanna see, so we're not always trying to land. You, you, you can land on your partner in this draw as well. So make sure we, we, we've got our defending hand up, we're, we're keeping long and work with your partner. But I wanna see, what I don't wanna see is if I'm throwing my jab, I'm trying to land every time. Boom. And then Reese goes, and then I go, it's pointless, yeah? So we're gonna work on setting up the jab. So I, I might go, I jab his glove, he goes, I go, he goes, boom, jab the body, so mix it, you've got many targets for the jab, people think, oh, you've got the head and the body, you've got the glove, you've got the shoulder, you've got the chest, you've got the stomach, you've got the face, you've got the air, yeah, so use all these to set that jab up, yeah, don't just, boom, miss his head, boom, miss his head, boom, miss, yeah, mix up the targets, so when I do throw on his head, I land, and I don't have to jab him hard. I can just touch him, yeah? Let's go. Okay, really. okay, Reece, my back heel is off the ground, okay? This is solid. My weight's on my back leg. When he throws at me, it doesn't matter what he throws, I can always do that, yeah? It's because I'm in shape. If I come out of shape, then my, my legs are, they're not gonna work correctly. And this is why I've seen people get hit way too much. So when, when we do this throw, really, most of the shots should not be landing. Because we know what we're throwing at each other. So why throw a jab at Reese? You know what I'm gonna throw? Okay? And obviously I'm gonna work my way into range, but that's so I can work on my defense. But we shouldn't be able to land on each other. Okay, so let's maintain that range, maintain that shape, back straight. Okay, here, I'm not going to avoid anything. I can't move. Back straight, I can move. Okay, back heel off the ground. Keep the width in the stance. Think about all these things. We shouldn't be landing on each other that much. Okay, even if we're trying to, it should, should be much harder to land. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, you're One for one, one for one. Realistic, we go, we go. Yeah, he was playing with the feet. It's a shape, okay. The first person to come out of shape is probably to get caught. So that's what the drill is. We're working on sharpening the feet up, playing with the lead hand. Fine, man. All right, Pesto, uh, with my partner. Same idea with the controlling, okay. Controlling, 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 and I want to see everyone kicking. I want to see where you're kicking from. I want to see how you're kicking. Yeah. So they show me roundhouse kicks to the body. Yeah. We've got one for one. I'm going to 
control, 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 pull. Yeah, control, 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 pull. And reach goes on me. Control, boom. control. Yeah? Let's go there. Show me, show me some defense for these kicks you got. Okay? So don't move out of range, because I know we all know how to move out of range, but just show me what defense you do so I can see. Yeah, you check the kick, you carry the kick, mix them up, yeah? Let's go. Okay, so, and with Reese, now, I've seen a few people checking kicks. I like checking kicks, I think it's a good defense. Like, I, I think that's, that's your best bet with round eye sticks, dealing with round eye sticks in a fight. Please. If someone checks my kick, I ain't gonna kick again, embarrassing. I ain't gonna kick him. If he checks my leg kick, I ain't gonna leg kick him again. It's simple as that, okay? So, but for the draw, I don't want us to check each other's kicks because we're gonna hurt each other's shins and start blasting each other up in the room. So, what I wanna see now is a good parry, okay? So I'm seeing a few different ones. I'm seeing people tuck the elbow down and they're dropping into the kick, and that's risky. If, if Reese kicks me in the body and I start leaning, I might get kicked in the head. Okay, so I want to see the hands stay tight and you're just going to add the other hand there. Okay, now I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do this if I'm fighting Reese and he kicks me just to, just to do it. I'm only going to do this to counter him. Okay, so my objective is to carry the kick to come in with my shot to put him off kicking. Okay, so obviously I'm still taking the kick. I'd always say check first, yeah, but for the drill, he's going to kick me. I'm going to say tight, I'm going to add the hand there, I'm not reaching, if I reach, get kicked in the arm, might break my arm, so I'm staying tight, he kicks me, I parry, okay, and all I'm going to do, little dip onto my left leg, so my left leg's loaded, now it's going to be easy for me to come in with a, with a, with a lead hand, so we'll go for the drill, we'll go hook grass, boom, simple, so he's going to kick me in the body, parry nice and tight, boom, boom. hook grass, uh, pat it on the gloves, so it kicks, boom, full cross, yeah? On the left side, you can do the opposite. So same thing, my hand stays tight. I'm adding that, I'm not reaching. And I've loaded the right leg. I'm gonna come back, straight right, left hook, yeah? Back to your control, okay? So, Reese kicks, parry, boom, boom, control. All the way back to control, yeah? Just go one for one, do both legs. So right kick, right kick Reese. Oh, he parries, bang, bang. Cross hook, then he's controlled. Left kick, parry, controls, boom. Yes, let's go. You always put me on the spot here, Rob. I'm not sure what to do. Build on the same drill now, so Reese kicks me. Boom. I don't want falling in. Okay. If I don't land that, now I'm gonna get caught. Okay, so this is why we're coming back to this control. Even before I go, I'm gonna control it. And Reese kicks me. Boom. 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 Control. Now, what I want your partner to do is throw a punch, any punch, after they've done that, after you've come back with that counter. So we can throw a jab just to check my hands rock or a lead hook. Well, he's gonna check my hands rub and then he's gonna throw the other leg straight away. So we're not gonna put a delay on it. I'm not gonna get time to this reset and then go. Let's go. I'm gonna start the drill. Man, maintain distance. Bang, man, maintain. Yeah? So you're all the way back to, back to your control, back to your leader. And that's how I want us to drill it now, because it's more realistic. Yeah? Same thing, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Having a little look. Let's go. Now we're keeping the tempo up, yeah? 
Don't be trying to land every shot. Don't be trying to land every shot. That's better. And you see what's happening here? No one's using any free throws. Yeah? So we're getting that, getting into rubber. We're keeping the tempo up. Yeah? Get a big boy, I want everyone to get hit by them. Yeah? Look how many shots they're throwing. And look at them. Keep it all controlled. Staying out of range. And time lapse, yeah? So, I want more shots that are controlling. Ram sparring reefs. I've say, I, I, I said it before, it, it will click. You get me? It's one of them things you have to, you, it will click for experience. But if I'm trying to land, I'm vulnerable now, yeah? I'm in range, reefs can land on me. I might defend it, but I'm up in the wrist, yeah? So, I want to be minimizing the wrist. Here, there's no wrist. Me jabbing his glove, there's no wrist. Because he can't hit me from there. If I jab his head, he's a bit more risk. Yeah? So, why don't I make it? Why don't I control the risk? No risk. Then he goes back. Yeah? He throws back. Boom. No risk. No risk. Boom. And then when I want to go, boom. He's not seeing. He don't know it's coming. Whereas if I, if I show my card straight away and I'm trying to land them, boom. You know? So, let's, let's spar with that mindset now. Yeah? Same thing. We'll do one more round and then we'll, uh, we'll get some wrestling in. So, I want everyone to work on that now. Five, on a high tempo, yeah? Let's go! <laughs> so when you're ready, I just want you to partner up with your partner, so one for one. Show me control, like we did on the striking. Yeah, always start with control. Yeah, so I'm controlling the range, controlling the range. Then show me any entry to any takedown, you know. So I could be shooting in for a single leg. Finishing, yeah. Show me any entry to any takedown, even if you wanna, you know, body lock, go into body lock takedowns, whatever you wanna do, yeah. Just watch the space around, you don't go into anybody. Uh, one to one with your partner, yeah. Uh, I've seen a lot of people doing the single leg chest pressure. Everyone calls it different things. But uh, I've seen a lot of people they're shooting a the single leg. Oh, okay. Chest pressure in. Okay? So we're going to work off that. Okay? Now, I like to attack the back, okay? If you watch my fights, I do it a lot. That's what I look for when I'm grappling. I want to take the back and strangle up. So, what we're going to work is roots to the back from that single leg. So, obviously, it's a technique that you've done before. And we're going to work from there to get our roots to the back. So, I'm going to shoot the single leg. Same thing, I want control though. So, I've seen a few of you shoot from far. Okay, if, I, if I'm fighting Reese and I shoot from here, I'm either going to get knees, hit or sprawled on, yeah? I'm not going to get the takedown though, so I need this to disguise our shots. So I'm using this player, you know, I'm faking, a bit sharper with my feet, and then when I'm ready, boom, boom, and deep, yeah? When I actually shoot, my feet are already in, yeah? I'm using the, the lead hand to get my feet in before I shoot. Now I'm level changing, now I'm shooting. There's no space for him to, to throw a strike. Okay? So, a few of you have done the chest pressure takedown, okay? So, step in, I'm gonna walk you forward, I'm gonna step out, I'm gonna circle down. Now, if you've got good balance, what a lot of people will do, the tighter he ties me up with this wigger and his hands, they might grab the wrist, the easier this takedown is gonna be because he's got no balance, it's like that, yeah? So what people will do is let go. So I'm using this takedown to put him off balance, not to take him down. If I do take him down, great, but they might not go down. So if Reese just tries to balance now, oh, oh yeah, he took his hands off, but now there's no wigger. So now, if I want, I can pop my head to here, okay? And now all I'm gonna do from there, stay nice and tight, Head on the back, hands, hands, 
I've got a body lock and I'm on the back, okay? So I'm now behind him, which is where I want to be. Okay, so don't go too hard with the takedown because if you do, you might get the takedown. And I know that's good, but we don't want that, we want the back. So I'm going to shoot, oh, I'm going to single leg. I'm going to chest push you a little bit, pop my head out. You've got a lot of options here. I could lift very easily. Lift and dump down your palm here, so what? What we're going to look for is the back. So I just want to use this. That off balance Chest press back. Pop my head out. Now I can get my hands. And if you see my grip, I'm here. S grip, yeah? Now I like this because it's not that fatiguing. A lot of people do this, yeah? I used to do this, but this is fatiguing. Squeezing that is going to take it out of your arms. Squeezing this isn't that much effort. And all I've got to do is pinch my elbows. Okay. So boom, enter. Little chest pressure. Pop my head out. Boom, X grip. And I want to hit. I'm not up here. Because that's not, I've got no control. He can, he can move around there. He probably even turn into me. Yeah, see? So I want to be on the hip. Okay. Now I've got control, keeping the head tight. Okay, so let's just get to there for now, guys. All right. That's it. Yeah. Now we've got head. Down, pop my head up. Now see here, little detail I didn't really think, but see where my hips are right now? Yeah. I'm not in a good position, okay? I can get thrown, if he, yeah, judo throws. So straight away, I bring the hips in. Now we can't throw him in, there's no throw. Okay, I can lift him if I want, and then we're going to bring the hands in. But I'm keeping the hips in as well. So see the position I'm in? A lot of you are like this, it's not good. He can, he can fight the hand, he can turn in, he can throw me, he can roll, yeah? I want to be here. So I'm always bringing his weight up to me like, this is, this is the position. And, you know, it's not, you're not going to feel you're part of his weight because you're doing the technique right. So rather than picking him up, I'm just putting my free, my, my legs in and I'm, I'm, lit, I'm sitting him on my hips, yeah? He can carry anything on your hips, yeah? I ain't that heavy and I feel all right, yeah? Oh. Pop the head out, hips it in, hand is hand, and we're here. And now, when I want to take it down, it's easy. I can just choose which way I want to go, and I can use my knee. I'm going to keep it move it back, or forward, and then we're where we want to be. Okay? But let's get to that position and feel the tightness, okay? Because you'll feel the difference. Now, I want your partners, if you're not doing the technique right, and they can keep that balance and still keep that with you, then they should do that. If I'm not putting enough pressure and we can keep it wigger, we're gonna keep it. So I'm gonna have to put more pressure to get, the, get rid of the wigger. Then I'm gonna bring my hips in. Then I'm gonna keep my hands tight. And he's gonna tell me if I'm not feeling tight, yeah? So let's do the same thing, but get to that final position, get them on your hips, and dump. Yeah, very easy. Yeah? Let's go. Ground now, okay. So from the position we're kind of ending up in, boom. I've got wrist. I'm on the hips. Step. Hips. Now, what a lot of people are doing in MMA now, we're seeing it a lot more. You guys coming straight up to the hands, okay. So I'm gonna. That's what Reese is gonna do straight away. He's coming here, okay. So now, for if you like to attack the back, you don't want to be jumping on the back up here. It's, it's risky, I'm going to slip over, yeah, I'm going to slip off the head. So, I never advise to take the back from that position. So what I'm going to do, I've still got my body lock, but I'm going to change where my, where my position is. So right now, I'm on the hips, and I'm tight, but I'm going to switch it to a high body lock, okay? And then I'm going to change my grip. If, if, if my hands are long enough, if your arms are long enough, sorry, you might want to change your grip. But I've got long skinny arms, so, I want to be tighter, so I, I switch my grip. If you've got shorter arms, maybe keep the S grip. But I want to be tight around here. So rather than being tight around the waist, where I want to lift him up and dump him, 
Now I want to be tight, just underneath his shoulders. Okay, so I've got my body lock. I'm going to switch to here. Okay, so I'm high. So now I can put more weight on his arms. I'm just leaning on him now, he's carrying my weight. Now all I'm going to do is, from that position, I'm going to take my feet off the floor and I'm going to shove, yeah, in that direction. So my hands aren't going to be on the floor, my arms are wrapped around him, but I'm using him as my leverage. And I'm, I'm here, and I'm just going to take my feet off the floor and shove, yeah, like a screw. So I've gone to the body lock, he's come up, boom, I've come high, and now all I'm going to do, shove, and I've broken down. If he ends up here, We'll look for the wrist. Okay, see this wrist here? I'm gonna catch the wrist with both hands. I'm gonna step over. I'm in a very good position. Okay. If you get this, which I prefer, you can get him sitting up. You're gonna keep him here. So to keep him here, it's very easy. He's just gonna choose which way he wants to go and force his back to the mat. So I'm gonna get my chin on his shoulder and my ear on his ear. Whichever side you're more comfortable with. Chin to shoulder, ear to ear, and now I'm going to compress him and just keep him there. Okay, so we get to here, chin to shoulder, ear to ear, and I'll put my weight there. And now I can control him, I can feel if he, if he starts to push one way, I'll stop him. Okay, and you're just going to keep him here. Okay, and when we want to take the back, we'll do that in a bit, but it's, it's very easy, we've got full control. So you've got the two options, I want you to, we'll go from the ground, okay, it's a bit long going through the whole thing, I want it to go in, so. We're here, we come down to his hands, boom, we'll come high, break him down. You can get him here, break. If you can't, we're gonna be here. Catch the wrist, catch the wrist, step over. Good position. I don't need both legs. Half guard's good, because he ain't even got an arm to defend himself. Yeah? And then, if you can get it, boom, come high. Get him to see the position. Chin on his shoulder, ear to ear, stay tight. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. I just say here, I punch. Option two, we're gonna look for the back. So from here now, I'm gonna go deep with my left arm. Okay, like I'm looking for a head and arm choke. Okay, like, like, like I'd be. Yeah, everyone understand? So I'm going deep with the arm. I'm just gonna grip on his trap. Okay, then I'm gonna come high with my right knee. And I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna use my left leg to so hook. I have my hook already to bring him onto the other side, so I'm coming high and I'm pulling him with his left leg to the other side and I throw my right hook in and now I'm on the back and I've got a wrist, okay? So we'll end up in this position. I'm going to re rip I can start attacking, but around the back. Do that again. So, uh, put the body lock, catch the wrist, I step over, I've hooked, we're here. Option one, I strike, option two, go deep, bring the leg up, pull him onto the other side, throw the hook in, yeah, and we're on the back. Is that alright? Mm -hmm. Okay, the other one, the other one, go, mm -hmm. so, take it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so I've got him to see it, the circle's round. Is it, people get into these positions, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we've got him seated, we're in the body lock, okay, so I'm gonna keep tight. Chin on his shoulder, ear to ear, and now I'm going to switch my grip. So he's most likely going to be either basing on the floor or he's going to be grabbing my hands. Okay? He's going to be doing one of them two things. So if he grabs my hands, I'm going to look for the. Uh, come on, the side, lads. Look close here. So if he's, if he's grabbing my hands, I'm going to look to take the one out and I just want to catch one wrist. Okay, and I'm going to keep that pressure on the whole time, catching that one wrist. And literally, with the other hand, I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to shoot around the neck straight away. Okay, when I shoot around the neck, 
No. The only way he can defend the choke is by taking the choke off his neck. Okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm shooting around the neck, even if his chin's down, I'm shooting around the neck. I'm just gonna cover my hand with my chin. Now, okay, no. I've got I've, I've got it secured. He's got nothing to grip. You can't pull this, there's nothing to grip. He needs this. This is what people want to pull down. Yeah? So I'm I'm hiding that. My chin is on top. Okay? Now from here, keep the pressure on. Step your hook in. Oh, forward to the side. Finish. Yeah? So my pressure's on him. Boom. He's fighting the hands, catch the wrist, shoot round the neck. Step over. Boom. Finish. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright lads? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's go. 